someone was asking how I was getting on with the next generation indigenous seed and I'll get to that shortly. Another enthusiast emailed me an article and the article suggested that not stratifying eucalyptus seed produced seeds that germinated more quickly and produced more vigorous and stronger growing trees. My experience has been that it's more nuanced than that. If you've been following me along, then you'll have seen that I'd started to put beer traps in the middle of the seed trays to deter the slugs. And I've stopped doing that because I also sprayed the wooden surround of my seed trays and all of the racking in this grow room with a strong brine solution and absolutely no slugs at all whatsoever. So anyway, where I had those beer traps in a few of these seed trays, I when I took them out, this, out of the fridge from stratification, I filled them full of compost and sowed more seed into them. And as you can see, this particular tray around the edges, plenty of germination, good germination rate, has taken a couple of weeks. Whereas those in the middle that I sowed, I'm not seeing any germination at all. So this particular variety requires stratification, whereas this variety, as you can see in the middle there, good germination rate starting, and those that were stratified around the edge, absolutely nothing. These are Cineria, and these were stratified. This was after I stopped using the beer traps, and they were only in the fridge stratifying for a couple of weeks, but reasonable germination rate on these. This tray, uh, Camal Julensis, I'll hold my hand up here and I'm not 100% positive whether I sowed seed into the middle or not. I'm pretty sure I would have. And as you can see, these aren't germinating at all whatsoever, whether they've been stratified or not. And they've had a good couple of weeks now. But as I say, I'll hold my hand up and I'm not 100% sure whether I've sowed seed into that, into the beer trap or not in this particular tray. The heated base that I constructed last year has worked a treat. It's fabulous. It's still working. So that's two seasons anyway. And again, if you've been following along, I have bought purpose off the shelf propagators. They've lasted a year before the elements have failed and they're non-replaceable parts non-serviceable parts and I've also tried heated mats and again they lasted a year on me. Maybe I was just unlucky but I bought six of the heated mats, eight of the heated mats and they all failed exactly after a year. Anyway, I'll uh, show you some more here. I'm still learning, although I'm getting more scientific in my approach to discovering which varieties require what in terms of stratification. I also though think that the quality of the seed has a lot to do with things and so this tray of glossines, I did put this in for stratification. I've grown glossines successfully previously with stratification, four weeks of stratification and then bringing them out into a moderate temperature and they've been fine. And as you can hopefully see, there's absolutely not one germinated out of this tray. And that's really surprising. I'm pretty sure it was this packet of seed that I tried to use up with the last batch, which I did stratify, but I have stratified glossines in the past with good germination rates. 
Anyway, when I was sewing it, in comparison to batch two, the seed is much smaller. Batch two, the seed is much larger. And likewise, batch three, the seed is more fine. There is a lot more chaff in batch number three. So once I've put this into the fridge, I'll give it three weeks in the fridge to stratify, take it out, and then I'll sew one, two, three batches again on this side, and then leave them not on the heated base, just at room temperature around 12 degrees C at this time of year. And then maybe after a couple of weeks, two to three weeks, if they're not germinating, then put them onto the heated base. This is Alpina. And again, I've had a couple of goes with Alpina. So maybe it is just me going through a learning curve. However, this is Globulus and uh, I've, I've had good success with globulus in the past. You don't stratify globulus, they don't need it. And as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 out of a tray, which I probably sowed at least 50 seeds into. Did have the beer trap in the middle, so that might have had something to do with it. Anyway, I've sown more seed into the middle there and it is germinating, but I sowed it very liberally. Other varieties that have had stratification, these are our cherry, and good germination rate on them. These are camphora, and again, you know, vigorous, healthy, good germination rate. These are ovata, this had a beer trap in the middle. The ovata were stratified from memory for a couple of weeks. I didn't bother sowing any seed into the middle. I might not bother stratifying ovata in the future or I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing now in terms of stratification. But before I do, here's your next generation indigenous seed. These were stratified for four weeks and hopefully it's coming out on the camera there. Fabulous germination rate, <laughs> really high germination rate, incredible germination rate. And those that I didn't stratify, I took out, I sewed them and I left them on the racks here for probably about a week or so temperatures ranging from about 8 to 12. We have had a cold snap and I'm not sure if it's going to come out here but lots of them are starting to germinate. So it hasn't made any difference whether it's stratification or not to these next generation indigenous seeds so I'm really pleased about that. So what I'm doing now with varieties that I'm not very sure about is I am dividing up the seed tray and on the one side I am labelling them stratified and I'll put them in the fridge uh, as you can see that's very liberal this is pure seed a lot of these if it works anyway as you can see you can see what I'm doing basically I'll sew this I'll put this in the fridge to stratify and then when I take it out the fridge I'll sow seed on this side and leave them at room temperature for a week or so before putting them onto the heated base. A couple of other things to bear in mind here in terms of if this was scientific or not. This fridge can be a bit or temperamental and temperatures range from zero to around five. I have replaced the thermostat with a second hand fridge. It's worked okay, I'm not going to replace it. The other thing would be I'm making sure to put a cover on to keep the moisture in and that's a possible factor with some of the other seed that it might have dried out while it's been in the fridge. Thanks Emil for watching, good luck.